Okay, welcome to the first video of creating the customer satisfaction survey or checklist. Now what you're going to want to do is start off with a blank Microsoft Word document. And I'm going to go on to show you how we can create the same exact sheet that we saw in the demonstration video. Towards the top left corner we have company logo. And you're going to insert your logo whenever you're ready. I'm going to do the center. I'm going to go on and put here customer satisfaction survey. I'm going to go on and just make that bold and after setting it bold I'm going to put 14's font size. Now in the original video I, I'm going to change the font to 12. I have a table here that has a total of three rows, one column. So we're going to do, go to insert, you're going to, you're going to select table, insert table, you're going to do one by three. And in the first box let's go on and put customer service questions. I'm going to go on and just kind of make this like a title bar color. I'm going to go back to my home and I'm going to color this. Let's do a gray. And then in the second box is where I'm going to put, I'm going to do left align. Please rate the level of service on a scale from one to five. And then here you can do your, your ratings. I'll put three as business standard. Four would be differentiated. And then five exceptional. And of course, I would recommend making the font smaller on, on those. Perfect. And now we'll start off with the questions. Do increase my font. And you can change these questions up. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make these questions shorter, but you change them to your liking. And these are just generic questions. I mean you set up the questions that you like. All right, those are the three questions that I'm gonna go on and set up. And not in this video, uh, but in a future video, I'm gonna show you how to add the check boxes right after question one, two, and three. For now, I'm just gonna put, leave a, a space in between, and in between the numbers. And then in the last section is where we're just gonna put survey statistics. And on this line right here is where we're going to have the, the label for the average. And then towards the right of that, on this side is where we're going to have the button clear survey. But for right now, this is all that we're going to create for the page. The remaining information that's going to be here, the labels, the button, and the check boxes are all going to be what's called ActiveX controls. And I'm going to show you how we're going to add those ActiveX controls and in the, in the upcoming video.